Honourable Member for Hampton, Beverly Clareview, followed by Innisfail, Silton Lake. Mr. Speaker, this week some Edmonton parents got bad news. They have to sacrifice three community schools, shutting the doors forever, just to get one new school from this government. But while children in Edmonton's mature neighbourhoods are losing schools, this government is spending $7 million expanding Prairie Christian Academy, a school with discriminatory codes of conduct where enrolment isn't even growing. Yeah. To the Premier, will you tell Albertans why public schools are being closed while schools like PCA are getting more dollars? Yeah, Honourable Premier. Mr. S Mr. Speaker, in urban centres we have a, a problem with growth on the, on, on the, uh, in the suburbs and requiring more schools there, but we have a lot of schools that do no longer have the students they need to have a viable educational program. And it makes sense to take three old schools out of circulation, and, but, but to provide one new school with current viable and up-to-date equipment and, and a site for good learning opportunities for those students. First supplemental. Mr. Speaker, given that this PC government is dictating an arbitrary three-to-one policy, forcing school boards to close at least three schools to get one new one, ignoring local community needs such as demographics, student needs, and geography, and given that, on the other hand, when it comes to ignoring universal human rights, you people can't defer to boards fast enough. To the Premier, why are you being so hypocritical? Mr. Speaker, school boards determine what their priorities are, but we do want to make sure that school boards use resources in appropriate ways. And it's very difficult to use educational resources in an appropriate way if you have to heat old buildings that are only a half or a quarter or 20 percent full. And when you can't provide proper educational programming in that circumstance, it just makes sense to take old buildings out of circulation. But we do need, when you do that, to provide a proper educational experience and ex educational site in those areas, and that's precisely what the policy does. Final supplemental. You should apply that to old governing parties, Mr. Speaker. Given that it's this PC government that decides how much funding our school boards get, and given that it's this PC government that's allowed deferred maintenance in our schools to grow and grow and grow, back to the Premier, will you admit that your PC government's failure is forcing school boards to close mature neighbourhood schools? Mr. Speaker, what the experience of uh, school boards that have old buildings is, is that they cannot keep those buildings open without de devoting an awful lot of educational resources to doing so. And it makes sense at some point in time, when we don't build a new school on every block today, to go back into those neighbourhoods and say, how can we cr cr create the right kind of educational opportunity for those students, take those buildings out of, of, out of play that are no longer viable or valuable, but make sure that those students have a place to go to school in and near their neighbourhood.